What up African Brothers Home Team here and I'm back at it with another video of African history, culture, and worldview. By supporting this channel on Patreon, you're helping in the creation of these videos and supporting this content. If you'd like access to full courses and sources, or you simply want to show your support, you may do so by clicking the Patreon link in the description box below. King Sechueo came to the Zulu throne in 1873. Sechueo was a very intelligent political force, as well as an able military commander. He overcame many opponents on his way to power. His father, Mpande, had seized the Zulu throne from Sechueo's uncle, Dengane. The elder of two sons, Sechueo had been declared Mpande's heir at a very early age. However, his father underwent a change of heart and during the 1850s began showing favor to his younger son, Umbulazi. Eventually, this led to a civil war in which the forces of the two brothers battled for supremacy. Although Mbalazi was supported by the British from their neighboring colony of Natal, in 1856, he was defeated and killed, leaving Sechueo the heir to the throne. From 1857 until 1872, Sechueo was effectively the king of Zululand, with his father holding the throne in name only. During this period, Sechueo faced frequent incursions by the Boers, who were intent upon pushing into Zululand from the Transvaal region. Sechueo responded by attempting to establish a diplomatic link with the British, who, interested in dominating southern Africa themselves, were intent on reducing Boer power. Thus, Sechueo had reason to be optimistic when the British annexed the Boer South African Republic in April 1877. Sechueo's optimism was short-lived, however, for Britain clearly saw a strong, independent Zululand as a threat to its rule in the region. Soon the British began a campaign to discredit Sechueo and justify intervention on their part. In 1878, Sechueo provided them with their excuse when his warriors raided Zulu opponents in Natal. In response, the British authorities issued Sechueo an ultimatum that they knew he would reject. The ultimatum was to hand over the raiders, pay substantial reparations, and disband the powerful Zulu army. When Sechueo inevitably refused, the British invaded on January 11, 1879, thus initiating the Anglo-Zulu War. Confident that their 18,000 troops would be more than enough for the situation, the British, under the leadership of Lord Chelmsford, were sadly mistaken. They were unprepared for both the number of warriors in Sechueo's army and the intensity of their efforts. In short, Zulu commanders simply outmaneuvered the British at the Battle of Islanwana on January 22nd. The British suffered a crushing defeat, one of the worst ever for their overseas military campaigns. Ironically, this defeat made the British consider the Zulu a real force to be reckoned with, and so they determined to put out much effort in order to defeat them. The British went on to defeat Sechueo at Alundi on July 4th, and after the British victory, Sechueo was sent to Cape Town, where he was held prisoner for two years before being exiled to the neighboring area of the Cape Flats. Sechueo, however, refused to give up and thought of returning to power, and given his political acumen, he convinced the British to restore him on the Zulu throne. For the British, Sechueo represented an alternative to the chaotic squabbling among the various independent Zulu lords who had been left to govern Zululand after his defeat. Sechueo returned to Zululand from England early in 1883, and he soon was back on the throne. This time, however, the British made sure that he had no army to support him. Sechueo's return to power was not unopposed, however, and he immediately found himself in a civil war against the forces of Zibhebu, who previously had been placed in charge of northern Zululand by Britain. The war went on from March to October, with Sechueo finally being defeated and forced from power. Ironically, the defeat of Sechueo by Zibhebu and his Boer allies ended the era of great Zulu kings and via hindsight, made Sechueo the last great Zulu king. Well, I'm all out guys. If you like these videos and want to help in its continued production, consider supporting the home team on Patreon.com. The link is in the description box below. Know thyself. Remember your ancestors. Peace. Hey, hey.